Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul, in case you're new here. Welcome everyone. We are here for a pop-up reading, and today's pop-up reading is going to be all about the future between you and your specific person. Not necessarily the end, like the grand finale, because life is a journey, right? I'm specifically talking about what is coming next between the two of you in the 3D in the future. The next big stepping stone that you guys are going to be going through with one another. I've gone ahead and pulled us quite a few oracle cards to get us started. I'll do some tarot after that to give you some additional insight. But I want to go ahead and start with what I've pulled for you guys here today. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a spoiler alert. This definitely involves communication. I got that right away with the first three cards cards that I pulled and I pulled them in this order. So I don't know, it's kind of circular. Maybe that means something to you guys as well as in the end of a cycle. But anyway, I'm going to read these first cards to you and then I'm going to chat a little bit about what this conversation is going to be all about. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. All right. So one message that's coming out right away that I got from these three cards upon pulling them before any of the other stuff came out is that there is a healing conversation about to be had between two and your you and your person, between the two of you, okay? I feel like there's been a lot of misunderstandings between you and this person. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's still very smoky and foggy and neither of you are able to see things clearly because something is distorted here. Again, through misunderstandings, through miscommunication, and that is clearing up. It's going to literally be dissolving away as in the two of you are going to have a very clear conversation with one another where you're going to kind of lay it all on the line. You're going to be open, authentic, and express it with one another. I think you are going to be quite literally clearing up the fog of misunderstanding and soon everything that has transpired between you and your person is going to start making a lot of sense to both of you and I think it's going to feel very invigorating and healing. Um, they just showed me a person standing. How can I explain this? They showed me a person standing in the mist like uh, if you imagine all around you is foggy and it's like a light blue scene you're standing in the middle of this fog you can't see more than like five feet away from you um, and it's almost like all of that fog and that mist comes shooting up towards the front of your body and over you and the mist clears i don't know what imagery that was but i saw it clear as day it's like all of the fog that is surrounding you this mist, this haze is going to wash right over you and everything is going to make, be made clear almost in an instant when the two of you start talking, okay? Over here, we have consciousness, comfort, and abundance, trust, secrets, and dreams, and love call. Let me chat about this a little bit here. There is something tied, very closely tied to this connection and both of your um, literal material world abundances. I don't know if that's a plural word or what, but there's something with your destiny as individuals, like this soul connection, this soul tie that you have with one another pairs with your material world abundance, like your financial security, your housing situation, um, your material world cultivations. I don't know. I'm probably talking. <laughs> I make up words all the time, you guys. Just roll with me, okay? I don't know what's up with that, but there's some. it has something to do with this connection where both of your like material world stability stuff has something to do with healing from this connection so it's almost like as you heal this connection more abundance is going to be flowing to you could have something to do with a soul contract the two of you have with one another or it could simply just be because um, your energy is going to be uplifted once the stagnancy and the fogginess lifts you're going to have that pot, that energetic space for new blessings to come in because the fog is gone, the negative energy is gone, the stuck energy is gone, and you're able to pull in that abundance to you. They're calling me to show you this stone up close. And um, like full transparency, you guys, I don't even remember what kind of stone this is. <laughs> 
Um, so my bad, but I don't know. It, it reminds me a bit of fool's gold, okay? So there's kind of a message in that too. It's almost like maybe in the past you guys thought that you were doing pretty good financially, but that was like a joke compared to the abundance that you're about to be cultivating when this person comes back into your life and you guys have this healing conversation. Like the abundance that you have right now is going to look like a joke. Like you guys, there's something about this connection helping both of you to like amplify your financial abundance times a thousand. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe the two of you might go into business together or something. I see that as a very logical explanation as to why your abundance increases when this person comes back in. But um, take it how it resonates. And if it doesn't make sense right now, it might make sense in the future for you because that's a clear as day message. Creature comforts, that's another thing. I wouldn't be surprised if one or both of you guys had like an earth moon sign or you could just be earth signs or have heavy earth placements in your chart. I'm a Virgo moon, so creature comforts are very important to me, for example. I know Taurus moons are very similar in that sense. Um, and I also have dominant Capricorn placements in my chart. So I have dominant earth energy in my chart, even though I'm a water sign, technically, if you go by sun signs, it, it's important to look at your entire chart, okay? So let's say later on in the reading, I pull a sun sign that doesn't match with you or your person. Keep in mind that your entire chart should be taken into hand because it's not just about your sun sign or even your big three. The entire chart um, influences your astrology stuff. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that whole tangent right now, but there's something about creature comforts being important to this connection. Should you guys come together and enter into a relationship, I see both of you not necessarily being materialistic. I don't see that being the case, but you do like your creature comforts, as in you like a nice, warm, comfy, clean bed at the end of the day, or you like a nice, comfortable, safe driving car. You don't want to have to worry about a 20 year old car breaking down like the little simple creature comfort pleasantries are important to both of you guys and this connection and so maybe that's part of why it's part of your soul path um, with one another we also have consciousness coming out that's just playing on this conversation that you guys are having i think you guys have been becoming more conscious separately and that's also going to be amplified when this conversation happens it's almost like this section right here is talking about the amplification what is going to be intensified once this conversation is had and you guys actually start communicating authentically your consciousness is going to be amplified your comfort levels are going to be amplified and your abundances as well okay comfort can play towards like emotional stability and security as well okay not necessarily just like creature comforts, but also I feel like both of you are going to feel a lot more comforted once you know the truth because these misunderstandings that are creating this like electrical staticky stuck energy for both of you, it's going to be gone and you're going to be able to breathe that beautiful breath of fresh air again and you're going to feel so much more comforted knowing the truth, okay? So we have trust, secrets, and dreams. Trust, guard your heart. Not everyone deserves your trust. That is true, first of all. I'll get to that in a second. Secrets. Something is hidden from you. Someone isn't being truthful. And then dreams. Look to your dreams. They hold all the answers you seek. So I'm going to touch on this little section right here because it plays with everything else I've been talking about. There's definitely been some big misunderstandings between you and your person. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Um, there could have been lying or deceit. But for the majority of you out there, I sense that this mistrust and the miscommunication is pretty minor. It could also be that external parties were gossiping about one or both of you and creating this staticky energy, this fogginess, so that no one really knew what the truth was. Could have been like a love triangle situation, a love square, <laughs> or like if you guys have mutual friends or acquaintances or something like that, people could have been like triangulating each other and just crisscrossing. And it's kind of like the game of telephone where, you know, one person says one thing, you pass it down the grapevine. And by the time the last person receives the message, it's completely different than what the truth or the starting message was. Something like that, okay? Everybody's story is different. Remember, it's a general reading. But I see the trust barrier being... Um, 
repaired between the two of you after the miscommunication and the misunderstandings are cleared. The trust is going to be repaired. Um, you might, if you resonate with like an external party or parties interfering with your connection, you might realize that those people were not to be trusted and that they were intentionally interfering with this connection to try to drive a wedge between you and this person. Um, and then you'll realize that they were being secretive, they were manipulating this, and they were adding to this whole situation with you. And it's time to like let those connections go if they can't be trusted. You know what I mean? So there's a lot about trust being important for your connection with your person right now. And I see the fog clearing. You're gonna be seeing them more clearly. They will be seeing you more clearly. You'll be seeing any other parties that were interfering clearly. And you're really going to just be thriving after this because again, it's like a heavy, heavy weight that has been holding you down for X amount of weeks, months, years is going to be off your chest. And that's gonna just create this beautiful passageway for new blessings to enter into your field. So beautiful and it all starts with a love call <laughs> okay i'll touch on that in a second all right but we have dreams you you've probably already been dreaming about this um when i was asking for additional clarity i this card came out and i was like oh i see what you're getting at right there um you already know how this person feels about you deep at your core both of you know how you feel about each other. It's just the fogginess that's gotten in between the two of you. It's driven a wedge between you guys. But deep down inside, you already know how you feel about each other. It's just that either your own insecurities or other parties or miscommunication has gotten in the way. And because we're human beings and we're imperfect and we don't always listen to our intuitive guidance, sometimes we can believe the lies that we tell ourselves or other people tell us. Um, and it's usually because we have wounds or insecure, ugh, insecurities. Yeah, see, I just choked up right there for a second. Hold on, you guys, I'm gonna take a sip of my water. Mm. So listen, listen to your intuition is what that's telling me basically, especially if you've been having dreams about this person, pay attention. You're receiving information from them and from your higher self about the whole situation. So pay attention to that. Don't write them off. And dreams about these other people as well. So just, you know, just be aware of that. We also have this love call card coming out here, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. So I do see either you or this person reaching out to one another in the near future to try to reconnect and to start the process of talking things through. Seems like both of you know an important, need, uh, an important conversation needs to be had and that's coming your way in the future to clear this air. So I'm gonna try to see who's gonna call who if possible, we'll see what comes out. I'm not going to force anything, you guys. I like to leave things rather open-ended for a reason, just simply because um, I like whatever messages need to come through to come through rather organically. So let's get out some information for you now. There we go. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, tarot. All right. <laughs> I'm like all over the place, you guys. Hold on. What was that that just came flying off the deck? Death. All right, so well, there we go. That came flying off the deck. I know that was meant to be for a reason, obviously. Uh, that's Scorpio energy, by the way. Let's get out some more information. What is coming next? What else can you tell me about this connection? What's going to happen? Any other info you can give me, please, spiritual team? Oop, too many. Oop, okay, Queen of Cups. Wow, okay, that's Cancer energy, by the way. And what was that? Five of Wands. Yeah, there's there have definitely been other people interfering with your connection, okay? That, that message is now surfacing clearer and clearer. There have been other people meddling in your business, basically. Um, I'm guessing it's both, it's for both of you, okay? It's not just for one of you. There's definitely been people on both sides of this connection meddling in business that wasn't theirs, creating doubt. Uh, in each other or, you know, maybe even lying, spreading rumors or something like that. That's definitely been happening here in this connection, okay? We also have the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Pentacles is Capricorn, by the way. 
just to note that for you guys. Uh, how the turntables, okay? Things are turning around in this connection in the near future. I can see that clear as day. You're gonna be seeing any external parties that were meddling in this connection clearly as well, uh, along with each other. You're going to be understanding you're just going to be seeing the truth. I don't know how else to elaborate on that, you guys. You guys are just going to be talking about the truth and everything's going to start making sense. I think both of you have been spending a lot of time working on yourselves, building up, um, you know, because the Eight of Pentacles to, can talk about building your craft, right? Perfecting a skill. And maybe in this sense, one of those skills has been authentic expression. It doesn't just have to be with like a material world craft, like a business or um, something like that. It could be working on yourself is what I'm taking this as. And maybe the two of you or one of you has been working on a business or going back to school or something like that. There's just a lot about self-improvement as a whole coming through here. You, you've both been going through that and that could be why this conversation is being like, is timing out when it is now because it's time for it. You guys have put in the effort to heal um, and it's just aligning that way right now. There's an end of a cycle coming in a positive way. The tables are turning, things are spinning around and it's going to be something beautiful. Uh, again, there's something about the two of you cultivating abundance when you guys come together. And I do see that as a potential after you have this conversation, if the two of you choose to come together. All right. It's remember, we always have free will. Okay. But there's something about both of you uh, being very good with your money. And that's going to be amplified after this conversation happens. Um, and yeah, you're just going to be hearing the truth about these people that were meddling. I think you're going to be listening to your intuition a lot more as well and having emotional expression between the two of you so very beautiful what we're going to do now what are we gonna do I'm gonna we're gonna get out some messages from them I think that's what we'll do yeah we'll see what they would have to say to you right now I'm gonna read current messages not the future okay this is going to be intended to give you insight as to what's going on with them right now. And we'll see how close this is to happening, maybe, depending on the type of messages that come out here. So let's see. What would this person have to say right now if they could be totally open and honest? What would this person have to say? Okay. Runner. I don't want to run anymore. Hmm. Interesting. So I don't know, maybe you do resonate with a twin flame label, okay? And this could be the runner in that situation, or it could just be talking about somebody who has an avoidant attachment style wanting to run away. Um, could just be saying that neither one of you want to avoid this conversation anymore, honestly. If both of you have been trying to avoid talking about the harsh truths, this could be saying that this person doesn't want to avoid that anymore and neither do you. The time has come, okay? We also have new chapter. You guys, if you know, you know. If you're like an original subscriber, this card is very paradoxical because up here we have new chapter with fireworks and it looks beautiful and exciting. And then down here we have him trying to move on. So there's like dual messages coming out here. This person wants you to know that they're trying to move on from the past. They want a new beginning. They want a new chapter. It does involve you. I don't think they're they're trying to move away from you, clearly, but um, they, wanna avoid, they want to stop running away from their problems and just be real, okay? Indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. So they're aware that they have, you know, had some issues in this connection as well. It's not just external parties that have been creating this issue between the two of you. Um, it's likely both of you have had your own insecurities and issues that have needed to be worked through as well, okay? Understanding, I see your side of the story. So this person is starting to see things more clearly on their own, and that could be also what is prompting this conversation between the two of you, because... Um, you and your person are both aware of this now, whereas maybe in the past you were caught up in this cycle of indecision, um, back and forth energy, avoiding the whole issue, running away from it. And now both of you are starting to see each other's perspectives a little bit more clearly and you're ready to have a conversation and actually hear the truth now. Okay, we have mend. 
I want to fix our connection. So yeah, I mean, that's clear as day. This person does want to come in and repair some of the damage that's been done and just get down to the truth with you. So it does seem like this might be happening in the near future for some of you guys, simply because this person is like, is in an energy that would make sense for the very, very next step between the two of you to be soon. Does that make sense? Because they're, they're not avoiding it anymore. If I got a bunch of cards that said, I'm still too wounded or it's not time yet and stuff like that, you know, that would be telling me that we're still like weeks, months, years out from this next step between the two of you. But because this seems to be on par with the energy of wanting the truth and to heal and to talk, this is probably going to be happening fairly soon for a lot of you out there. Okay. I hope that made sense. Let's get out a couple more messages from them. I wish things could be different. So again, there's external barriers getting in between the two of you maybe. Or they just wish things were easier. I left before you could leave me. So they could have had a fear of rejection that was surfacing. I knew exactly what I was doing. So again, they're not blaming all of these external parties on, like they're not gonna push the blame on other people. They know that they did some messed up stuff, okay? And they're fessing up to it right now. They're gonna come in and they're gonna tell you the truth. And some of the things that they have to tell you, you might not wanna hear. Like they did just leave you before you could leave them or they still wanted to go explore other connections and they weren't ready to commit to you at the time. Like you're gonna have to hear the harsh truths, but I think that's really important for both of you to grow, level up and descend as individuals. Um, you know, to keep moving forward. It's important, you know, because the truth is the truth, whether we want to see it or not. So we might as well just know the freaking truth and roll with the punches. At least that's my personal opinion. I look for you everywhere. So if you guys live in the same town or near each other or something like that, that could be quite literal. Your person is looking around for you, hoping to bump into you. Uh, they may even frequent places. The two of you used to go together. Uh, hoping that they'll just so happen to run into you or it could be more metaphorical as in they're they're seeing your name everywhere they go um they're like seeing things that remind them of you they're watching a movie and a certain character just really really looks like you or reminds them of you or something like that okay just so you know everything is going to be fine they want you to know that everything is going to be okay they're trusting in this process they know that everything's happening for a reason I need to tell you something important and I am healing, okay? So they know that they wanna come in and talk to you. They know that they have to talk about all of this with you and they wanna hear what you have to say as well. They're not moving it forward until they've healed though. They are healing, they're in the process of doing that. When this person comes back in, they're hoping both of you will have healed and you'll be ready for it, okay? Because they do not want to continue to have any type of misunderstandings. They really, really want to just clear the air with you genuinely i'm so sorry okay i'm not ready to open up yet they're still working on it okay this is happening from what i can see here this isn't i mean it's probably not years away for most of you it might still be a few weeks or months though while your person continues to get their ish together heal and prepare themselves for it and it's important that nobody feels rushed in their healing process right because Healing isn't linear. We go through ups and downs. You know, sometimes we get to a really good point and then we have to learn another lesson. And instead of making it feel like we're taking a setback, it's important to just really pour more love and attention into yourself and allow yourself to go through the process without forcing anything. Okay? Please send a prayer for me. So if you do like to pray, say a prayer for this person if you feel called to. They're asking for it. Let's get out some tiles and charms now this could spell out their name your name any important words for this connection if you guys see anything i miss i welcome you to uh comment down below for the collective okay hmm the name Anne, I'm seeing the name Anne come out. We also have tan. Um, so maybe you or this person like to go tanning or something like that, go lay at the beach or something of that nature. Um, I'm seeing the name Tal 
Callie. So somebody's name could be Callie, or maybe some of you guys live in California. The name's Sal uh, or Saul. Um, do 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 salt. Yeah, salt water, tanning. Something about a beach could be important here. Um, that's all I'm seeing, though. If you guys see anything I missed, feel free to comment down below for the collective. That was way more than I planned on, dang it. The Eiffel Tower landed straight up, you guys. I don't know if you can see that, but it landed straight up. So Paris or the Eiffel Tower could be important. Um, we also have two crosses coming out here. So that's just jumping back to the energy of prayer. Maybe both you and your person really do like to pray a lot and you keep each other in your prayers, even if you haven't spoken in a long time. We do have an angel coming out here as well. So your guardian angels are watching over both of you. Okay, they are always there to protect you. And if you ever feel like you uh, wanna connect with the divine, all you have to do is send a prayer. It's easy. Okay, they're always around you. We also have a fish here that's making me think of Pisces energy. Also, we had that dreams card coming out. So, you know, Pisces reminds me of like ruling the dream world because I think Pisces energy rules dreams in our subconscious and stuff like that. So pay attention to your dreams. We also have a G and an F coming out right next to each other. Girlfriend. So maybe this person wants you to be their girlfriend or wants to be your girlfriend, something like that. Okay, or it could be that like an ex-girlfriend had been getting in the way for one or both of you guys. I don't know. Take it if it resonates. We have red lipstick coming out here. So one or both of you guys um, could like to wear rip red lipstick or you like that look. It could also just be saying this person would really like to kiss you. Um, they really miss that connection between the two of you. We have that little, I believe it's called a Hamza hand. So again, it's just noting that the divine is watching out for you guys. And then we have a heart here that says made with love. So there is a lot of love shared between the two of you, even if there's a distance. You guys do genuinely love each other. It just seems to be that misunderstandings and miscommunication, gossip, and all of that stuff has created an unfortunate barrier between the two of you. Now, since we had so much information about listening to your intuition come out earlier, I'm going to pull some message from the universe cards for you uh, from my Awakening Intuition deck, I believe is what it's called. It's all about intuition. Sometimes they talk about like practices you can use to amplify your intuition and stuff. So let's, let's get two of those out for you. Okay. First up. Spirit may sometimes bring a person, opportunity, resource, or experience into your life before you feel ready, or something can take much longer to appear than you prefer. Intuit where timing now is more than a frustrating delay or a complicating early arrival. Divine timing ultimately benefits you. Mm -hmm. We also have listen for words of wisdom. Notice what is being said. Wise and well-timed advice from a loved one, a poignant line delivered in a movie or podcast or conversation overheard on the street that speaks to your situation in your life may hold important intuitive guidance. The written word proves profound. Very true, especially if you are already aware that you have a strong, clear audience gift um, and maybe your person does as well. I noted that at some point earlier in this reading that they might be seeing things in a movie that remind them of you or something like that. Pay attention. If you're like passing by and you hear someone say something and it rings within you, that's definitely a message for you to take. Listen to your intuition. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this reading here. If you haven't gotten a chance already, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to link a couple of things up here along with my uh, pop-up reading playlist or a different playlist in case you want to check out another reading after this. Um, really helps me out as a creator when you guys watch. So thank you very much for watching this video today. I really hope to see you for a future video. Have yourself a beautiful and blessed day, my dear. Bye for now.